Hey, what is up YouTube? As we know, Apple has just released iOS 11 to the public earlier this week, and a big under the hood feature is ARKit, being the company's SDK that lets developers easily create cool augmented reality apps. That is why in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the top augmented reality apps and games for iOS 11 that are currently available for you to download now onto your device. So that being said, if you have an iPad Pro, an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, an iPhone SE, or the iPhone 8 in a few days. If you haven't already, you can download iOS 11, and then furthermore, download any of the apps that we're talking about in today's video. Anyway, I highly recommend if you get the chance to check out these in person for yourself, I would recommend doing so because it is just absolutely an amazing experience. I've had way more fun than I thought I actually would playing around with these apps that actually aren't fully developed yet, but they still have a ton of potential. Anyway, guys, this list of the top iOS 11 augmented reality apps is in no order from best to greatest or anything like that. It's just some of my favorites that I've found just by playing with some of the new apps that have come out in the past couple of days. If you want to check out more apps outside of this list, I'm sure if you go to the App Store and go to either the Today tab, the Apps or Games tab, they will have an augmented reality section for the rest of this week. But without further ado, let's get on to the list. All right, the first app we are taking a look at today is called World Brush, and this lets you create artwork throughout a 3D space by simply moving around and drawing on the screen with your finger. You can change the color, the brush size, and it even allows you to save the artwork so you and your friends can see it. And when I first started playing around with this, I didn't really see the potential of it, but as I kept going, it started looking a lot more impressive, especially when I noticed how 3D the objects actually were. One thing I did notice, however, is the tracking ability varies a lot between app to app. And while this app wasn't too bad, others, as you'll see in later in this video, don't handle it so well. But this one handled it really well, making it feel like a really genuine experience, um, but with drawing and using the 3D space, and I'm by no means an artist, guys, but just to give an example, it started looking pretty cool, and I just see a lot of potential with this app for actual artists or just people having fun as well. Anyway, the next app slash game that we're going to talk about is called Stack AR. Here, you simply just start stacking the bricks. It's actually a pretty fun game to play, but the object of the game is to stack this as high as you possibly can. As you can see, if you don't match it up perfectly with the block below, then you start to have less and less space. But as you can see, the camera is tracking again on this app really well. Again, it's just becoming easier and easier for developers to create apps like this thanks to Apple's new AR kit. Previously to this massive AR app release, some of the only games we saw are games like Pokemon Go that included anything like this augmented reality feature. All right, so now that you kind of get the idea of augmented reality apps and games, we're gonna go ahead and get into something more serious here that actually could have some purposeful use aside from having fun. So this app is called Magic Plan and it lets you easily plan out an entire floor plan of your house. As an example, I'm doing it in the hallway here. And so to start off, I look down at my feet and match up the camera so it can track really well here. And so essentially now I'm just going to click on every single corner during this hallway. And if you can kind of tell it's measuring as we're going, but here in just a second, once I finish this part up, you can see that we have created a floor plan, which gives us measurements between every corner that I'm clicking. And so once we're done selecting all the corners, you can just click done at the very bottom and it will take you to this screen where it can show you the dimensions of everything that we've just created. You can also edit them and make them your own as well or adjust them to do new designs. Anyway, I feel like this app could have a lot of potential for people trying to decide like where furniture is going to go and to get exact measurements of a room without having a tape measure readily available. Anyway, next up is called Ikea Place and this one can also be used to lay out furniture for yourself in your living room or wherever it may be. In this case, you get a 3D object rendering of that piece of furniture within the room that you're filming and you can choose from a bunch of different stuff that Ikea has preset. Of course, they don't have everything, but they have a lot of stuff to try out. And it also gives you a direct link to go out and buy that as well. Anyway, guys, next up, for all you Star Wars fans out there, the Star Wars official app has been updated with an augmented reality feature for iOS 11. If we go ahead and select that, you can scan a poster and you can just pull that up on the web, on your laptop, or in this case, on our iPad. And then, of course, you can see 3D objects such as stormtroopers and other characters throughout Star Wars. 
And I'd have to say this app in particular seems to track the camera pretty well as it latches onto the poster. And I think that's one of the reasons why they have you pull up a poster. So it has a lot of different tracking points so the camera doesn't get tripped up too often. Next up, another game we have is called Kings of Pool, and this has also been updated to include an augmented reality feature. Here you can place a virtual pool table, and it can be resized, guys, right within your living room. And it's pretty fun to play this game because it feels more natural like an actual pool game. You can walk up to the table, you can look around the table, and you can just pull the stick back and shoot to let the ball go. But what I'd have to say I'm most impressed about this game is how large of an object that is being rendered because it's absolutely incredible the amount of detail when you get up close and look at all the reflections on the balls and the pool table. It looks really nice and like I said, it's actually pretty fun to play. Anyway, the next little quick one we have is called AR Runner, and this one lets you select between a lot of different activities and you can race between friends, but essentially once you select your field size, you can easily place the field down on the ground. Once you place it, you then walk into the starting brick and then you can tap to begin and your race is off. It almost feels like a GTA style race, but that is it, you can race between friends. I just thought it was a pretty interesting app Anyway, real quickly, we'll go on to another small app, and then we'll get into the meat and cheese of my two favorite AR apps right now, out for iOS 11. Of course, they're games. But anyway, for this one, this is called AR Fitness, and it will pull up an entire map within your living room that shows different trails throughout the United States. Now, of course, the maps that they have currently are limited, but I just thought it was a really interesting feature, and I thought it was impressive the amount of detail of the 3D rendering of the map and how well, again, the camera tracks. Again, all these apps take on an entirely unique perspective of how to use this new feature within iOS 11. And so that was one of the points of this video as well, is to just try and show all the different styles of apps that are currently being created. Anyway, moving on to one of my favorite AR games currently available. This one is called AR Dragon and it lets you have your own dragon as a pet. And while this isn't really useful, it's a lot of fun actually. And the animation is done really professionally. Um, you can even feed the dragon an apple, but how well the camera tracks and how well the animation is done, like I'm saying, the dragon is constantly looking at you. You can get the guy to move around the room as well. But again, it's just been a lot of fun playing out these new games and apps that are specifically for augmented reality. Again, these are some of just the first editions of the apps. I'm sure they will be a lot more advanced and have a lot more purposeful features, but for now, this is a pretty impressive start for how well the app is performing. And like I said, go ahead and try these apps out for yourself. I personally thought they were a lot more impressive in person than watching any video or reading any article about them. You really just have to experience it for yourself and see what it's like. Next up, one of my favorite AR apps that actually had a useful purpose, and that was to tell you the weather. This weather app called Carrot displays the weather in a virtual reality way. It has this little guy follow you around and talk to you, and he's actually kind of says some funny little things sometimes. If you go tanning too much, serial killers won't want to harvest your skin for a human suit. I don't know, adding some comedy into this pretty serious app. Anyway, it's kind of a funny little guy where you can make him move around the room. You can swipe between a couple pages to see more information, but it's just amazing again how close up you can get and how well the camera still tracks the device. Anyway, lastly and most impressively, we have this game called Splitter Critters, and while it can be played without using augmented reality, it is a lot more fun to do so when using it. Because in this game, moving around in a physical space and viewing the game in augmented reality actually has a purpose. As you can see, the purpose is to get this little guy to his spaceship so he can fly away, but to do so, we actually had to split the land up so he could walk. It impressed me just the amount of detail that the game had with its 3D layering, and using augmented reality, you can actually jump in and behind the scenes and view outward your own living room. Anyway, as you can see, the app is essentially contained within this box, but within that box, there is still some depth to it. And to my earlier point, by moving left or right, you can change where you actually split the land on the screen, and you can view more details by zooming in on this game. 
So it actually makes it a really unique experience and a pretty challenging game, which you can use AR to zoom around and look for new options that are available and new ways to split up the land. Anyway, guys, that is my top 11 augmented reality games and apps for iOS 11. Let me know down in the comment section which ones you guys like the best. And again, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates on augmented reality and new features within iOS 11. Again, stay tuned as this Friday we will be doing unboxing videos for the iPhone 8. 8 Plus, Apple TV, and Apple Watch Series 3, as that is when they are officially coming out. That is their official launch date. So again, guys, stay tuned, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out.